scientists at CERN have done what alchemists from the Middle Ages dreamt of, turning lead to gold. You heard that right. Early this month, CERN's announcement that its Large Hadron Collider can turn lead into gold was the holy grail for alchemists from the Middle Ages. This is the biggest discovery since the Higgs boson or the God particle as you all may know it. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and welcome to another episode of Pure Science on the Print. Scientists have observed a real-life transmutation of lead into gold through a new mechanism involving near-miss interactions between atomic nuclei. But each of these gold particles is the size of a nucleus and lasted barely a second before being destroyed in the collider. This research has been conducted by scientists from ALICE, which is a large iron collider experiment at CERN and has been published in the Physical Review Journal. I will link the research paper in the description below for you to check out. During LHC's second run between 2015 and 2018, about 86 billion gold nuclei were created from smashing lead atoms at 99.999993% the speed of light. Marco van Leeuwen from ALICE said in a statement that it was impressive that the detectors were able to handle head-on collisions producing thousands of particles while also being sensitive to collisions where only a few particles are produced at a time, enabling the study of electromagnetic nuclear transmutation processes. Now that the significance of the experiment is established, let us get into how this was achieved. CERN caught the gold bug as a side quest nearly two decades ago while working on the fundamental particles and forces when it started running the LHC. Particles, as you know, are the smallest known building blocks of the universe and there are four forces of nature responsible for how matter behaves. They are gravitational, electromagnetic and the weak and strong nuclear forces. During the second run, the LHC produced 29 picograms of gold. How much is a picogram? It is one trillionth of a gram. Now, in the third run, which has been operational since 2022 and will continue till 2026, the amount of gold produced was almost double that of the second run. This improvement was because the third run has higher collision energy compared to its second run, improved detector performance and has managed to collect more data. But the amount produced was still trillions of times less than what will be required to make a piece of jewellery. The detectors 0 degree calorie meters or ZDCs counted the photon nucleus interaction that led to the emissions of 0, 1, 2 or 3 protons along with at least one neutron. ZDCs which are specialized calorie meters used to detect and measure very small particles or radiations are associated with the production of lead, thallium, mercury and gold. This can happen because lead and gold are very close to each other in the periodic table, with gold having 79 protons, which is just three fewer than lead. This essentially means that collisions at powerful particle accelerators only need to rip three protons from lead along with some neutrons to make gold. CERN said that while less frequent than the creation of thallium or mercury, the results show that LHC currently produces gold at a maximum rate of 89,000 nuclei per second from lead-to-lead -lead collisions at the ALICE collision point. The gold nuclei emerged from the collision with very high energy and hit the LHC beam pipe or collimators, which are basically devices that shape or direct beams of light or radiation to narrow them or limit their speed at various points downstream, 
where they immediately fragment into single protons, neutrons and other particles. In this form, the gold exists just for about a tiny fraction of a second. Beyond the transmutation of lead to gold, the study has also gone on to provide key insights into the physics of ultra-peripheral collisions while also improving models that predict energy losses in particle accelerators. This would be an important factor in designing future machines. This was all from me. I am Soumya Pelle and you were watching Pure Science.